Shalom, Chevre. This is Richard Solomon, and this is week number seven. And this is the seventh YouTube tutorial that we are doing. You will recall that last week, or for our last class, we did a tutorial on the use of Facebook. And in fact, for this week, you will be engaging in individual video conferences with two different members of our cohort using the Facebook tool, excluding myself, Elaine, and Katrina. And if you want to review that tutorial, you just need to get to this particular URL, okay, which I'm going to copy right now. You'll see why in a moment. So I'm copying this URL. And if you click on this URL, this is what you will see. You will see cyber number six, web tools on how to use different Facebook functions. But let's find out what we're going to be doing this week. This week we'll be focusing on Google, Google Docs. In order to do that, I'm going to demonstrate how to obtain a Google Docs or Gmail account, how to create a document or PowerPoint on Google Docs, and how to hyperlink a word, a phrase, or a sentence on either a Google document or a PowerPoint presentation. Okay. So, if you would click on this URL, it would take you to the sign up page and by signing up for either Gmail or Google Docs they're both the same. In other words a Gmail account and Google Docs are both interrelated. So you just go onto this page and follow the directions clicking on this icon etc. All right. Now we're going to demonstrate how do you create a document or how you create a new PowerPoint presentation. So I'm on my Google Docs homepage and let's say I want to create a document. So I see the icon over here that says create and I go to document, I click on document and let's name this document. By clicking on that, we'll call this sample document. All right. So we click on this, and I've created a sample document called sample document. Let's say I want to write something and center align it. And let's say I want to call this sample document. And it's, that's how it's a sample document. Now, if I wanted to boldface this document, I would click on that. If I wanted to italicize the document, I would click on that. If I would want to underline the document, I click here. If I want to change the color of the document, I click here. If I want to change the background of the document, I would click here. I'll talk about later inserting a link. If I want to change the size of the document, I would click here. If I'd want to change the font of the document, I would click here. So that is how you create a document. Now let's show you something about hyperlinking. Let me change the alignment to the left. And we'll say this is an example of how to hyper link a document. Okay? So once again, if I want to undo the underline, I would click over here. And if I'd want to hyperlink this entire sentence, I highlight it. And you see this little link over here? Insert a link. We click on it. And we paste the URL 
right in here. Now, do you recall earlier that I copied this URL over here? All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste this URL right in here. And now this particular document, excuse me, this particular sentence is hyperlinked. Watch what happens. If you click on here and you go on the bottom of it, you click here and you get to the YouTube. This was the YouTube that we made last time. Okay. Now if we go back to the document and let's say we want to remove the link, we just hit remove, and let's say we just wanted to hyperlink the word hyperlink. So we highlight that and we paste the URL and now just the word hyperlink is connected to that YouTube. All right, let's say I wanted to create a new presentation. Well, we go to new, we click on presentation, and the first thing it will, we might do as to how the presentation would look like, that's sort of the background. So let's click over here and uh, make it into uh, a blue theme. All right, let's give the presentation a name and let's call this sample presentation or sample PowerPoint. Just a moment, let me just stop this for a second. Okay, sample PowerPoint presentation. Okay, and there is the Name. I'm going to stop this for a second so that doesn't distract us. And once again, we can write what we want right in here. And if we want to call this sample PowerPoint, that's how we do it. And we can change the uh, alignment any way we like and we can add titles. Now I'm not going to go over how you utilize all of these functions and create new slides. I'm going to let you explore that on your own. But this was a way of demonstrating how you go and create a new uh, Google document or you create a PowerPoint, etc. All right, let's see what our next challenges. How do you find and restore an earlier version of a document or PowerPoint presentation on Google Docs? All right, well, let's go to my home page. These were the ones I just created. And let's go to an early document that I created some time ago. So we open this thing up. The name of this document is called Jewish Integrated Experiential Education Activities Learning Chart. And if we wanted to get to an earlier version of this document, we would simply go to where it says See Revision History, click on that. And this would enable me to go to earlier revisions. All I'd have to do is, let's say I wanted to see the revision from October 4th, and we click on this right here, and it would get me to that revision. So that is how you find a revision for an earlier document. Now while I'm here, let me show you a couple other interesting things. Let's say I wanted to copy this document. All right, so I go to the File menu, where it says make a copy, click on make a copy, and simply click OK. And I have now copied this document. So that's how you copy a document. Now there's one other thing I would like to show you, and that is the share function. 
Okay, so let's say I copy this document and I want to share it with different people. Right now, this is a private document. It says only the people listed below. So I could put my wife's name over here. Let's say I would put Elaine Solomon. Only she could see it and she can either edit it, she can comment on it, or she can view it. Okay, but let's say we wanted to allow Elaine to edit it, we do that. And that's how you determine who can share and view your document. Now, there are a couple other interesting things. If I wanted to allow anyone on the internet who has the link to be able to see the document or edit the document, I would click here. Or if I would want that document to be public on the web, so anyone on the internet can find and access it, they could do it. Now, please notice I also could control who can view, who can comment, and who can edit, whether it's public, anyone with the link, or private. And then all you do is hit save. All right, so let me go and close this off and find out what is the next challenge? So, we showed how to find and restore an earlier document, how to share a document, how to control who can view and edit your document. Let's talk about how to upload a document or a PowerPoint from your computer and also how to download a document or PowerPoint from Google Docs to your computer and finally how to print a document. All right, so let's play with that. All right, so let's go to the home page. And if I wanted to upload a file, I just click on File. And if I want to upload a document, it's very simple. All I do was find a document, like this document over here, and I would click Open and I would upload the document to Google Docs. If I were able to find a PowerPoint, I would scan my computer, and if I wanted to upload this PowerPoint, I would highlight it, and I would open it. Okay. Then we wanted to talk about how do you download a document. All right, let's say I wanted to download this sample PowerPoint presentation. Okay, it wasn't much of a document, but let's say I'd want to download it. First, we would get to the document. If I would want to download it, I would go to the File menu, and you see where it says Download? I could download it as a PNG or a JPEG or a SVG any of these files and it would be downloaded to my computer. Let's show this in another way. Let's say I had this sample document and I wanted to download it. By the same token, I would go to the file menu and I would go to download and I could download it as an ODT, a PDF, an RTF, a text or a Word file and it would go down to the computer. Now the last issue was how do I print the document? To print the document all I would do is simply click on print. So let's see if we covered all of the tasks for this week. We indicated that if you wish to see the YouTube from last week there's the URL. We showed you how to obtain a Google Docs account or a Gmail account. How to create a document or a PowerPoint how to hyperlink a word, phrase, or sentence, how to find and restore an earlier version of a Google document or PowerPoint, how to share a document or PowerPoint with others, which also deals with how to control who can view and edit your documents, how to upload a document, or how to upload a PowerPoint presentation from your computer onto your Google Docs account, how to download a document or PowerPoint, back to your computer and how to print a document or a 
PowerPoint presentation on Google Docs. There is much to learn here. We hope that this was helpful to you. Thank you so much.